Alright, goal 3 of the final stage, so this is the penultimate goal of the event and this of course gets the final PR requirement uh, bump. Um, not much of a gap between you and the drivers ahead of you now, let's secure the podium finish now. Keep an eye on your engine temperature. So it's an engine temperature management challenge, which is kind of similar to um, the, what do you call it, the fuel management challenge, which basically means uh, you have to coast a bit more frequently than you might otherwise. So rely less on hard braking and uh, let the car just kind of coast into more corners if you can manage because that's how you're gonna cool down the engine, right. Um, and with that being said, PR 71.6 is required and I have not spent any gold to bring my PR up to that number, partially because, um, well, it's really, I mean, you're gonna have to level up your driver at some point for me, I'm going to hold off on it as long as I can, even as I'm running through it here. Um, as I said, motorsport dollars are easier to come by significantly than the gold, I think. So that's why I would um, rather, even though the tunings that you get here are essentially throw, throw away upgrades because they're gone after the event. Um, I'd much rather get the PR boost that way for this event than spend gold to level up your driver, at least for the time being. I'm gaining all the necessary uh, experience points. I'm up to 9258. Um, I think that brings me up to maybe level 3. Yeah. We'll talk about that another time, but for now, um, yeah, let's uh, see. So tuning for this, I just kept it simple. Got every um, state, uh, step, like every category, each step up till the step five. I got all of them. Then step six, uh, I didn't. I only needed two tune-ups which I went with the two cheaper ones so gearbox mapping and brake calibration so the other two expensive ones suspension and the power unit optimizations I left it at five step um, tunings so the total cost for meeting the PR requirement surely using the tuning was one point uh, basically one million six hundred eighty three thousand seven hundred motorsport dollars so one thousand well one point six eight three seven million right which is a decent amount higher than uh, one million two hundred seventy five which uh, would have been the cost if you decided to skip all the goals that required PR requirement, right? Of course, if you skip, um, you're not driving your car, you're not, your driver is not gaining experience, so that's what you might lose out on. But honestly, you can do that after you win the car. So if you're, you know, if you don't have time to bother with it, then it's actually almost cheaper to just skip through. <laughs> um, in fact, even if you have time to bother with this, skipping through, then you will actually save on your um, motorsport dollars. There really is no good justification for running through this event and spending more because you can um, gain driver level after you've won the car in the series 2020 season right <sighs> makes no sense but here we are i've done 
what I would normally consider as the way I would run these events, get the upgrades and pay for it and win the car. <laughs> but I only did this for the video series here, just to show what the event is actually like, I guess for posterity reasons. But I still think, I mean, the event itself is, um, I'm having a difficult time staying awake, actually. <sighs> it's not the track. I know some of you guys don't just like this track. I do like the track, but um, I don't like driving a slow car on this track, though. I mean, that is just the, just the cruel and unusual form of punishment for any gamers I think so um, that's what I think this event has kind of turned into cruel and unusual indeed all right yeah I don't know what the fire monkeys are thinking with this one this is, uh, uh, bizarre all right so place at least third without overheating all right so I need to climb up two places all right, let's
it survived that goal. Um, yeah, the engine I don't think was uh, much of an issue since there was nobody else really on the track. You know, I, I mean, once I overtook the the fourth, uh, third place, there's pretty much nothing there after that point. So, all right. Uh, shouldn't complain about easy goals, right? But considering that skipping a lot of these would have been even cheaper, this, uh, yeah, makes me question the whole premise of running through this. At least for me right now, I'm only doing it for the video here. <laughs> um, hey, broken through the 10,000 experience points. Um, and things that I am actually trying to earn, <laughs> I cannot earn, figures. Oh boy. So, uh, if you spread out this event into five days and actually made all the earnings go towards your bank of motorsport dollars, it wouldn't even cost you as much, perhaps, either on that sense. Well, of course. You can still earn this 200,000 max uh, from, you know, not necessarily from this event, from elsewhere. That still counts the same way. So, yeah. This event, more and more I think about it, looks more and more pointless. Alright, at least we don't need to service again before we complete the event to uh, win this car. I don't feel like I'm really winning it, I feel like I'm just buying it at this point, as oftentimes it is the case with the limited time series and the race day events, but this one more so than others. Alright, so goal 3 of stage 5, the pen ultimate goal pays out extra 25,000 that we actually can keep for a change. And that takes us to the series uh, conclusion, the final goal. So we'll pick up on that in the next video. So stay tuned for the finale, grand finale of Race Day Le Mans 2020. And uh, maybe I will have my two cents about this whole, I would call it a debacle of an event. So stay tuned. See you guys in the next video.